Ibola bola le karo e akudi e karo customer <laughs> Make we they always follow our conscience because he they tell us the correct thing. Ah, I suppose I'll be waiting good. Do the right thing. Let's change the way we think. Life in Lagos from sunup to sunset has a pace that can only be described appropriately by those who live and work in it. Work life in Lagos is stressful. Working in Lagos is hectic. It is crazy. Go slow and all that things. Lagos is very difficult. Lagos is the citadel of stress, please. <laughs> With tight schedules, deadlines, traffic hassles and a lot of other issues that confront a Lagosian daily, the chances of staying hale and hearty in this busy city is quite slim. Keeping up with work and still having the energy level, appearance and well-being that give a youthful outlook can be called the Lagos Challenge. Now they say eat five fruits and vegetables a day. Sometimes that's a tall order. I say eat at least two every day. So have, have at least for children in their lunch bag, always make sure they have one piece of fruit in there. That's, that's, that's plenty. Um, another way to do it is to squeeze the fresh juice. Now you can buy them so you don't even have to do them yourself. Buy a pedometer. It tells you how many calories you're burning every day. It tells you how many steps you've actually taken um, every day. Don't let yourself go as much as possible. Um, you're beautiful. You're beautiful to yourself. You're beautiful to people around you. So keep that up and make sure that you keep being beautiful. Water. I try to drink at least two liters of water every day. Water has amazing benefits. So whatever you can do, ditch the teas, ditch the soft drinks and replace them with water. You will all automatically feel um, a lot better. And the last thing which I don't take for granted is my sleep. A lot of us don't sleep enough. We sleep for three hours, four hours and we do that every day. At least six hours, try and get in at least six hours every night. Don't eat too late at night. We're all tempted. By the time you're going home, Lagos traffic, you get home nine o'clock and then you sit down to a heavy meal. Um, it's, it's bad for your health. It makes you sleep very badly. You wake up very tired. Somebody says to me, um, eat your breakfast like a king, eat your lunch like a prince, and eat your dinner like a pauper. So have something very light. I mean, moi moi is very light if, if you like moi moi fish. Moi moi and fresh fish is, is quite good. Um, but at least, you know, those, those are some of the things that I try to do as much as possible. Whatever approach anyone takes in battling the stress of Lagos, there are basic do's and don'ts. If there are five health tips that I do, watch what you eat, because no matter how much you work out, diet is 60% of everything. Normal routine, take my breakfast, take my lunch, go home, take my dinner. But I take a lot of fruits. Eating healthy is a bit expensive most especially in Lagos. I would advise to eat healthy at the same time to be doing exercise. And the only way you can do that is find out what works for you. There is no one formula for everybody. Everybody complains about the Nigerian food, our food is too heavy, our food is... But our food is fantastic. We actually have healthy food. One of the things that kills our food is the processes. By the time you overheat the oil before cooking it, you've killed the oil, you've killed the vegetables.